Yep, I've almost felt here. Let's check it once again. Just was looking around because there is quite a big traffic here and a small pit caught my front wheel. It's usual morning and I'm moving to my walk with the backpack behind my back and selfie stick in the hand. I've just crossed the chain that separates a safe part of embankment from unsafe one, so you can see that I'm a cool whiskey guy. The black water to my right is River Nevada, and although it is not deep there, about a meter I think, the water is very cold and also dirty, so it is definitely not desirable to bath there. I've already heard about a few people who have drowned for the last month. They were drunk, of course, but anyway, that's not a very heroic death. Now I'm moving for the Blagoveshensky Bridge, or Bridge of Annunciation. And any bridge is always a good challenge for the skater. There are two parts of each bridge, going up and going down. To get up, I usually use a lower position than during the plane skating. Some crossovers are also good to gain the needed power. Going down the bridge is good for practicing speed control. It can be rather scary if you are a beginner and are not very confident with braking techniques. I usually use the T-stop dragon. It is the most reliable way of braking, although it is not very good for the wheels. It is also possible to decrease the speed by some slalom turns. But the path here is rather narrow and it can be inappropriate if there is a people in front of you or even a biker behind you. Here I am using the T-stop with only one front wheel. It helps to manage speed and also saves other three wheels. As you can see, in St. Petersburg the water is everywhere. Now I am on the Krukov channel. The pavement here is not very smooth. It's big and dulled granite tiles with rather white cracks between them and also the ground. So we have water from one side, ground from the other and only a narrow granite path between them. But even on that surface I'm faster than the motorboat. Yes. I overran it easily. You can see the beautiful view. Green and yellow trees. The autumn has come to St. Petersburg. So the granite has come to the end. Some good asphalt finally. Not very good, but acceptable at least. And now I'm on the Teatralna Square. You can see the buildings of Mariinsky Theatre to my right, the new stage and the old stage, the main one. Here it is, a great theatre of opera and ballets well known all around the world. And I'm moving further. The entrance to the theater will be right to the right now. Yes, here it is.
The square is under great reconstruction, so I have to move through the road for some distance. There are special wood tunnels, the blue one for pedestrians, but it is very uncomfortable to move through them on skates. And here are some POV shooting off the street. I've tried to move pretty fast here, but maybe it is not quite visible. Another bridge. Now it is Grubayedov channel. It is not a big bridge, but I have to be careful because there is rather busy road there. To skate through the tram railways, it is enough to lift the front wheels of the skates a little bit. There is no need in jumping or overstepping it. I've reduced my speed with some turns here and that was a smart decision because although usually there is no any traffic there at the end of the street there was a moving car and I had to drive around it. Someone painted a horseshoe prints here. Maybe it's some kind of advertisement. Anyway, it's pretty fun to skate here. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe and so on.